Uh, I think I was just as surprised and uh, caught off guard by everybody yesterday. Um, it's unfortunate, uh, you know, what happened yesterday. And, uh, you know, as a team, you know, we just have to focus on what's now, what's now in front of us uh, with the coach that we have now. And uh, we got to continue to get better. David Griffin said yesterday that he felt like this team wasn't connected, that it wasn't galvanized after wins, not acting like he thought it should. Do you agree with that? Uh, I think he was right in everything that he said. Uh, obviously, uh, he sees it uh, from the outside and in the inside looking in. I mean, he's around us every day. And, uh, you know, he felt like, you know, as, as good as we can be, we weren't reaching the potential to this point. Uh, so he made the change that he felt that was appropriate for this team. And uh, like it or love it or hate it or whatever, you got to respect it. And as professionals, we got to, you know, get ready for the game. LeBron, cool. you are the face of this team. And like it or not, you know that people believe that this would not have happened if it wasn't what you wanted. Regardless of what your GM has said, People look to you thinking that nothing on the team is going to happen without your your say so and your consent. Well, that's not my it's not my concern. Um, you know, I found out about it just like every other player on this team at 3:30 yesterday when Griff uh, called us in on our day off and uh, and told us that he was making a change. And uh, he said, "You can like it, you can love it, but you're going to respect it. This is what I feel. Um, you know, where our team is today, and, uh, and it's a decision I'm making and." Uh, you know, and that's it. So, um, for me, um, you know, I can't get I can't get caught up and worried about what other people think. I, I, I've stopped that a long time ago in my career, worrying about what other people think um, about me or, or, or what I'm, what I influence or what I don't. But um, you know, the only thing I can worry about is how I continue to get these guys prepared and get them playing better basketball. Because obviously, uh, we know we can be much better, and I know we can be much better. Why do you think you guys are not galvanized? Uh, I, I don't even actually know the definition of that word, to be honest. Can you explain to me what that means? It means like, you guys aren't together as a unit, is what he's trying to say. <clears throat> uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, um, you know, we're just, we're a team that's, uh, you know, get fragile at times, and um, we're still learning each other. You know, I continue to harp on it. Uh, we're a team that's very unexperienced in, in growth um, and togetherness. Um, you know, we haven't experienced much together. So sometimes it's a little hardship happens. Um, you know, guys, we don't quite know how to figure it out together at this point. And, uh, you know, so, so hopefully we can kind of, you know, right the ship and, uh, and, and be better uh, for one another before we even talk about the game. LeBron, did you feel that this move needed to be made? Uh, I don't, that's not even my, it's not my, it wasn't my call. I was ready to play no matter what. I'm ready. To, you know, I'm ready to go no matter who's at the helm. Um, but now T. Lou is our coach, and uh, and we're ready to play for him, just like we was ready to play for Black. And uh, but we, our main concern is how we get better. Um, you know, and it, it's more important for us more than wins and losses. Like I told you guys before, you guys get so caught up in the wins and losses. And I tell you every day, it's not about the wins and losses. It's how we play. It's how we prepare ourselves every day. And. Uh, you know, and you guys asked me early on why was I frustrated. You guys asked me, you know, you guys won seven in a row. Why you don't feel like I tell you guys and for something like this to happen, now you guys understand what I was meaning. And, uh, you know, I don't feel like we can reach our potential um, if we don't continue to, to grow. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, we need to do that as a team. And I'm speaking from a team aspect, not from the change. And that was, uh, that's what the organization wanted to do. That's what the ownership wanted to do and our GM. They made the, the change that they felt best fit our team. Uh, but from a team aspect, you know, I got to make sure I got to get these guys playing much better basketball uh, from, a, from a mind aspect more than physical. What are some of the uh, capabilities you've observed out of Tyron Lou the last season and a half? Uh, it's very detailed. Uh, it's just very detailed. Um, you, know, uh, you know, that helps a lot. You know, you, you, um, the guy who played the game, as well, uh, so he's he won a championship, multiple championships. So he, you know, he's nothing that he hasn't seen. Um, he's played for from Phil Jackson. He's coached with Doc. Um, he's, you know, he's been all over, and uh, so he has experience. And uh, you know, so you know, we put our trust in him now, and uh, you know, we gonna give him uh, whatever he needs, and uh, we gotta follow his lead.
LeBron. LeBron. Out, out. Like with, with, with Todd, imagine this is an awkward situation when you step into this role after you know the head guy steps out. But for you, is it an awkward situation for you to go through this, knowing that you know? I guess what people think your influence is or what not. Uh, no, it's not awkward because at the end of the day, um, what I what I how I show up every day to work and how I approach the game is that's all it's about. And uh, you know, Coach Lou is our coach now, and uh, he's going to call the shots, and uh, it's up to us and me as a leader to, to go out and execute that. And, uh, and that means both on the floor and off the floor, whatever his commands is, uh, we got to do that. So, um, <clears throat> you know, me uh, worrying about what other people say about my influence or whatever the case may be, uh, it, it's definitely not my worry, and it, and it definitely won't make me uh, be unfocused on what the main thing is. And the main thing is, Still, for us to compete for a championship. LeBron, you've been talking about how the team needs to continue to improve regardless of who the coach is. But what what does this move symbolize to you? What as a team? What is the message sent here by removing David and, and putting Ty in? Well, I think uh, Griff told y'all that we needed him. We felt like it was best for the team. There's no sugarcoating what he said yesterday. He gave you everything that he needed to tell you. How he felt where the team was. And uh, as one of the players on the team, uh, you got to respect it. Yeah, I know it's part of your responsibility moving forward after regular season loss to stay in a good space because there's so many more games coming next year. Those Monday's loss, what, did, did it really affect this team? It seems apparent that it's the move that's been made. Uh, I think our team was affected way before Monday. You guys talk to me every single day, and I give you all the, I give you all the real every single day about where our team is. and. Sometimes you guys think it's true. Sometimes you think I'm a little insane winning seven in a row, and I still say I don't think we're where we need to be. We're not a great team, and y'all look at me crazy, and it's just the truth. So this isn't, uh, you know, our team isn't, it's not our record. It's not, this is more, bigger than wins and losses around here, and, uh, and, Griff's, and Griff sensed that, and he, he made the change. And, and uh, like I said, we all respect him. So outside of those wins and losses, you often talk about the process. Are there any concerns uh, with yourself or anyone else on the team that this move could throw some hiccups into that process? The only time will tell. Um, but we feel like we got a great leader and Coach Lou, um, you know, and, and a great coaching staff still here, and uh, we're gonna follow their lead. So, you know, we see what happens. But then I guess talk about where the team is at. Obviously, you haven't played a game yet, but what was the feeling with your teammates today? Did you notice already this morning a difference? Um, well, it was just very businesslike, and uh, there's not many words said. Um, you know, a change is always difficult, no matter if it's a if it's a, a coach that's being replaced or if it's a guy that you've been around for this long that's getting traded or released. Um, it's always diff difficult the very next day. Um, but understanding, you know, we do have a ball game to play tonight versus a division rival. And, uh, you know, we came in and got our work done. Hey, Brian, playing for a guy who played in the league the second time for you, does, does it matter? Um, you know, for me, I, well, he's the leader. And it does. I don't know if it matters much if a guy played in the league or not, if he's um, true to his word. And, uh, and, and, you know, at the end of the day, we all have the same common goal, and that's to win, all of us. You know, but, you know, we, uh, we respect uh, Coach Lou and the coaching staff, um, and uh, we got to go out and play and execute uh, the game plan every single night. Why do you and Lou have such a connection? <coughs> what do you mean? You guys are tight. How does that, what's it about with that? Uh, I don't I mean, we've been, I guess we've been friends since I was 17 years old. So, I mean, but at the end of the day, he's still a coach and I'm underneath him. And uh, he will coach me and push me and I'll listen to everything he has to say uh, and, uh, and go from there. But uh, don't try to make it a, a story of why me and Coach Lou so tight. I think there's a lot of coaches and players that's close in this league. You know, it just happened to be me. LeBron Ty said that he wanted to do things better, not differently than David Black. Do you think there are things that he could do differently or could do better than Coach Black did them? Well, we're going to find out. Um, I think he's prepared, though. I think he's well prepared. Um, he showed that, uh, I think, in the summertime when he was being interviewed for a head coaching job. And he's shown that, um, you know, for us over the last year and a half. 
and uh, so I think he's well equipped to be ready for this position. And uh, you know, the only time will tell. We'll see. Last question. How little time we're really been together as a unit? Is there still enough time this season to, to get where you'd like to get? There? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we can put together four great months to the end of the regular season to build a lot of things going into the playoffs. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, everything that we built, uh, you know, we can go from there. So, uh, obviously, there's a lot of time. Like I said, on the air yesterday, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before and whenever we played, uh, I love our position that we're in. Uh, I hate to, you know, be in, you know, 14th in the East and trying to fight our way out. You know, we're still in first place for a reason, you know, but, um, you know, we can be much better than we were and, uh, you know, and the changes made.